Welcome friends. In this section, we will study AC supply distribution. Uh, basically, this panel is supplied by AC. So, AC mainly used in this panel. One is for heating and lighting. Circuit. Another purpose to use AC in the control panel is to power the AC enunciator. So, here you can see the AC is coming from external. So, terminals are not marked yet in it and is coming to terminal number X17 1 and 4 you can clearly see the two wires one is phase and one is neutral so it's a single phase supply so from this terminal X17 1 and 4 the supply is distri uh, distributed further through MCP 101 and 103 one is used to basically if the light, this is the door switch. If the door is open, this contact will close and it will the bulb will lit and you can see the light inside the panel to work on it. The second supply is going to through F103 MCD, it is empowering the AC socket. This is the thermostat which is monitoring the humidity and the temperature then it has a space heater so if the values are uh, below the settings if humidity is high or the temperature is low then this D1 contact will close it will energize the space heater and space heater when it is working it will reduce the humidity and the also increase the temperature so it is used to remove the rust so it's now further the loop AC loop is going to sheet 21.1 so let's see what is it doing sheet 21.1 so we'll give, go to sheet 21 so you can see the AC loop is coming also here and it, you can see DC failure indication if this is failed, the indication H9 will be energized through AC supply and K7 will close and then H9 will be lit which is showing that the DC supply of the panel is failed then you can find the K7 relay K7 relay, uh, this is the contact K7 and it's uh, picked up and the K7 is picked up so K7 will pick up if you can see the DC MCV1201 is switch off or tripped or uh, F202 MCV switch off or tripped or you can see the DC supervision relay F27.1 or F27.2 this relay is uh, basically drop off so we, we will I will show you this uh, detail when we we'll go to this sheet so further it's going to put the sheet number 43.1 so let's go to sheet number 43.1 this is the sheet number 43 AC supply is coming here so this is the phase and basically the supply is connected to AC enunciator power supply module and then further you can see the AC supply is distributed to give connections to input of AC enunciator so for example if the supply is failed K7 that I have shown you picked up and it will, the light IN1 will be on so similarly you can see the supply is going further at the end the relay K30 is installed which is AC supply supervision relay so if AC supply uh, at the end of the loop if it is disturbed if any of the wire for example here from here wire is open there will be no supply at K30 and the K30 will be uh, switch off or drop off so you can see one contact is used 42.7 so we are at sheet 43 go to 42.7 so this is 7 here so here you can see E01 plus RP3 AC MCB tripped. So this contact is showing 
okay this one Sup supervision lamp annunciator health supply healthy so if the relay f point two switch uh, switched off this lamp will be glow so let's see this uh, relay is k30 so again let me check where we have the contact of uh, k30 here this is sheet 42.7 so somehow uh, it is not uh, shown here k30 contact so i will check and in when we'll come back to uh, the detail uh, revision we can check again let me check k30 sheet number 42.7 this is sheet number 42 this is 0.7 so it should be here but somehow it is uh, missed or not drawn so this is the basically the ac loop that we are discussing so next uh, we will see the dc loop of the circuit so thank you very much